Is it social condoms, society condoms, ear condoms? I didn't hear you. What's the problem? I love these over the ear ones because the small ear butted ones, people start talking to me and they'll be halfway through a conversation. I have to take one out. And now I gotta be like, what the fuck did you say 15 seconds ago? And I gotta piece it together by the end. And I'm just like, son of a bitch. Because for some reason, people get offended that they have to repeat themselves. But who, who came up to who to talk to who about X, Y, Z, A, B, C? Not even questioning if my ears were open for conversation or not. Some people are just rude. Like, don't just stick it in, like, your words and your thoughts and your opinions. There's multiple reasons why I wear iPhone. Like, how are you guys going to be talking about some juicy ass shit out in public and expect me not to fucking listen? Wait, your stepdaddy on his third what now? Your brother's been kicked out of how many schools for doing what now? You got a dildo stuck up your ass doing what now? You know what? I hear a lot less when I walk through, like, this. And sometimes they leave me alone. I say it like this because clearly you have to talk to the cashiers, but if I don't make it to the cashiers, sometimes I'm... I try not to get ear fucked more than twice when I'm out in public. Once by the random stranger and once by the cashier, because the cashier at least got to ear fuck me once. We got to talk. We have to have a customer report. I have to be energetic. I have to be bubbly or I'm an asshole, psychopathic person that might need to have a tail because, well, why are you so strange? That's not what the populace typically does. Even if they don't talk to me, that's not normal. They at least smile. They at least acknowledge. They at least, they at least, they at least I'm not them. They might not as well beat the fucking shit. Uh, they might also beat the fuck out of their child or cheat on their significant others or break a lot of speed laws, blah, this, blah, blah, that. Like, we have things in common, but, like, certain things we're not going to, but you don't want to dig any deeper. You just see the surface view. But, like, don't get me wrong. If I like the person or if it seems like they have a good story, I will sit there, stand there, be there, and listen. But I've also played a lot of video games where I've come to realize from video games it's not every character you talk to is worthy to talk to and or they don't always have good dialogue so it's just like in an open world game and nobody has exclamation points in their in their above their fucking head for me to be able to be like oh this is to further my uh expansion to be a better person this is to further my quest to get all the things i need to finally fucking die i don't know if it's i'm supposed to listen to this conversation or not but as long as you keep it interesting and you're not too rude, I will listen. And most of the times I won't say anything because I've come to realize for as much many years as I used to give advice. And don't get me wrong, I give good advice because I've been through And then also I have a weird connection with information that just gives me shit. But rather if it's good or bad, they don't give a fuck. They just want a bitch sometimes. And they don't ever start off with, hey, I just want a bitch. Really. And I'm just like, this seems like a problem. Let's solve it. And depending if they're reoccurring people in my life, typically not if it's a story. They'll just keep bitching about the same problem. Like, bitch, I gave you 52 different answers to do. There is no right answer. You just got to give it a fucking answer and you're not even trying to answer it. You just want to bitch. So I want to make sure I always have my headphone condoms on.